Standing in blue, grid three has Calvin Malarkey on the outside, Martin Dugard, who to be sure will attack Jasper around the outside of those standing. Might just uh, have thoughts about getting his nose into the action as well. The Eagles looking for 50 points, 46-24 the score. And once again, this crowd here holds their breath, waiting for another mouth-watering duel between Dugard on the outside here and Dave Jessup as the green light comes on. And they just can't wait to go away they go this time. And again, it is Jessup, and again it is Dugard and Jessup on the inside, and Dugard again trying the outside run down the back straight there, and he's gone past him again quite beautifully. Dugard leads it, Jessup is second, third place. Here's Dean standing and standing like it up and audaciously challenged Jessup here. But Dugard, oh, down has gone Jessup and down two has gone Malarkey. And that is disaster for the Fen Tigers. Jessup, it looks as though Colin maybe his fork snapped. He just seemed to be thrown very awkwardly. It could have well been a chain snapped. If, if the chain was snapped and, and trapped in the back there, it would have thrown him over the handlebars as it did there. The bike seemed to just completely stop dead. Well, once again, we have got a dramatic moment here right at the end of this first leg. Let's have a look at it again. Well, an anxious crowd around David Jessup. He went over very awkwardly, Colin, I have to say, and I hope I'm wrong. It looked like a classic collarbone to me. Yeah, that's, that's the high side right over the top there. Whenever it locks up hard like that in the middle of the corner, it's the, the collarbones that normally take the, the brunt of it. Dave's lying there, you can just see that they're, they're trying to loosen his helmet now, but it doesn't look too hopeful yet. Well, we have to say the Eagles have had a tremendous afternoon, but uh, for Fen Tigers, this really is the final blow there. Without Rob Henry, of course, and uh, Richard Green, it looks as though Jessup may well be unconscious there. And that is a very, very sad picture indeed. Yeah, Dave wears an open face helmet there, and I think he's clipped the front of his face as well as he's come down. You know, the, the actual visor on the front of the helmet's come down and clouds the top of his nose. It's a very poor, unlucky thing to happen. It's, it's just one of those things. The that's, that's the problem with the tracks this time of year. They get a little bit grippy, and things can happen ever so easily and very quickly. But on the evidence we have seen, it did look as though perhaps a mechanical defect. It's unlike David Jessup to make a mistake. It looked like it was a mechanical defect which caused the trouble, Colin. Yeah. Oh, yes, it looks like a mechanical defect, but they've... Uh, that, you know, on, uh, on, the, uh, on the replay, it looked, looks like it was a chain, but it, it's certainly come off well, worse for wear there. The, the, tr the trouble is here that you're turning back so hard, if something does go wrong, you haven't got a lot of chance to uh, correct anything. Well, that's appalling accident to Dave Jessup. Really has knocked the edge off the final part of this first leg, it has to be said, because now the depleted Fed Tigers have had a dreadful run of injuries. Now face Martin Dugard and Dean Standing here with just Kelvin Malarkey, one starter only in the last heat. They're already trailing by 22 points. Surely an invincible lead for the Eagles for the second leg. And uh, the Eagles were looking for 50 points here. I'm sure they wouldn't have wished to have accumulated it at the expense of an injury to Dave Jessup. An old Eagle, they're waiting for Kelvin Malarkey. Malarkey did well, actually, to miss Jessup when he fell there. It was a very quick piece of reactionary thinking. So heat number 13 for the second time of asking for the youngest carrier in the league. Away they go up to the corner and it will be Dugard who leads it in second place. It is standing, in fact, standing, creeping around the curb. Fine piece of inside riding. Malarkey's back in third place, but really, understandably and pardonably, a lot of the fight has gone out of the Tigers, although Malarkey is getting up here to challenge most audaciously. And the young Eagles mustn't be complacent here because Malarkey is a tough old bird and he'll punish them if they go to sleep. Oh. Dugard just does seem to have an extra gear. Kelvin Malarkey, who we heard eloquently describing his unhappiness earlier. And, uh, well, he's being left now as the Eagles suddenly realise the danger. Into the last lap. It has been a business-like professional performance by the league champions as uh, Standing gets himself into a little bit of trouble there, just to confine us.
but they're going to take a handsome lead. 26 points in the final analysis, and that will surely be enough to make sure of the double for the Eagles. 5-1 in the last hit. Calvin Malarkey just agitating the crowd with a gesture as he went over the line. There are the youngest pairing in the lead, Dugard and Standing, entrenching the Eagles to an impressive first-leg victory.